Hey everybody, this is Planeta Isla. Invasion of Poland by the German forces shattered the world, for this was the beginning of World War II. Krakow was spared from bombardment and destruction. No building nor structure was destroyed compared to Gdansk and Warsaw, but many lives were sacrificed and fell victims into the hands of the Nazis. This is Krakow now. Let's take a look. Here are the best places to see in Krakow. Klanty Park is one of the largest city parks in Krakow. It includes the old town all the way to the Babel Castle. The old town is one of the most famous old districts in Poland today. The main square is the largest medieval town square of any European city. Found in the main square is the Renaissance Cloth Hall, the world's oldest shopping center. St. Mary's Basilica with two towers of different heights and design is in the market square. Every hour there is a trumpeter that plays an unfinished music on four sides of the upper tower. The basilica is famous for its wooden altarpiece. A huge head of the Greek god of love, Eros, is lying on the ground. Another feature found in the market square is the town hall tower. Only the tower stands today because the town hall itself was demolished in 1820. Babel Cathedral and Babel Castle is on high point in the city. It was the home of the Polish kings and queens until 1600s. Babel Cathedral is the most important church in Poland. The inside of the cathedral is magnificent with beautiful icons, statues, pulpit, and ceilings. There is a narrow wooden stairs that goes up to the bell tower with three huge bells. St. Leonard's Crypt is underneath the cathedral where kings, saints, heroes, and national figures were buried. The Barbican was once a fortified outpost of the inner medieval city. It is the only remaining gatehouse of the medieval fortification that once encircled the whole city. Today, it's being used for occasional theater productions and other art shows, except during winter time. The Casimirs was the center of Jewish life in Krakow for over 500 years before it was destroyed during World War II. Because of the rediscovery in 1990 after the fall of the communist regime and through the worldwide exposure of Steven Spielberg via the movie Schindler's List, Casimirs came back to life and today it is Krakow's most exciting district. Before the Second World War, the estimated population of Kashmir's was 64,000. These people spoke only Jewish or Hebrew. The Jewish quarter was considered a model Jewish community. Since 1939, Jews were displaced from Krakow and by 1941, they were forcibly removed from their homes and relocated to a ghetto, which resulted to starvation and death. Those who survived were sent to the concentration camps where they died. Approximately 10% of the population survived and moved out of Poland and never returned. The few people who remained were able to revive their culture. Ghetto's Hero Square is a public forum in Krakow 
on the site of the former Krakow Ghetto in Podgorzia. It was used in World War II to house Krakow's Jewish population during Nazi occupation. Seventy empty chairs of different sizes face the direction thousands walk to board the concentration camp trains and never return. Williska salt mine is a working mine since the 13th century. It produced salt continuously until it was closed in 2007. Total depth of the mine is 327 meters and extends horizontally for over 287 kilometers or 178 miles. Visitors route is less than 2% of the mine passages total length, which is 3.5 kilometers. All chambers are covered with salt sculptures, shrines and statues carved by miners and contemporary artists showing the history of the salt mine and also the mining culture in Poland. Temperature inside the mines is 14 degrees Celsius or 57.2 Fahrenheit all year round. St. Kingus Chapel is the largest chapel in the mines. It is named after the daughter of King Bela of Hungary. She is the patron saint of miners. Schindler's Factory Museum is one place which you shouldn't miss when you go to Krakow. Oskar Schindler was a German businessman and a member of the Nazi party. He worked as a spy for the Nazis. After witnessing what the SS members were doing to the Jews and other unwanted people, he bribed them with money and black market items to keep his Jewish workers safe. Originally, he produced enamelware objects before making mess kits and ammunition shells for the Germans. He is credited with saving approximately 1,200 Jews by employing them in his factory so that they could avoid horrible living conditions and eventually death in the Nazi labor camps. Only a percentage of the museum is about Schindler. Most of it are war museum. Auschwitz has become a symbol of terror and genocide, known as the Holocaust. This was established by the Germans in the suburb of Auschwitzim, which the Germans changed to Auschwitz. There is no other place on earth like Auschwitz Birkenau. From being a concentration camp for Polish prisoners, it became the largest Nazi center for destruction of the Jewish population of the European countries occupied by and allied to the Third Reich as part of the final solution of the Jewish question. The Auschwitz concentration camp, created 10 months after the beginning of the war, was the first concentration camp built in occupied Polish territory. The people held here were from all walks of life, whether you're an intellectual, with little education, mentally challenged, or mentally deranged, Jews, gypsies or Romas, homosexuals, and many more. 
In this camp, you will see the conditions the prisoners were kept, the hell they went through, and the insights into the horror of the Holocaust and the destruction brought by the Nazis on the Jews and other minority groups. Auschwitz II, or better known as Birkenau, is the largest part of the Auschwitz complex. These barracks were for women and children. Polish civilians population who owned property in Brzezinka were evicted and their houses confiscated and demolished. Some houses were used by the officers and non-commissioned officers. After the war, the owners came back to find what was left of their properties, chimneys and fireplaces. At least half of the Poles imprisoned here are estimated to have died as a result of starvation, harsh beating, illness with no medical care, excessive labor, and execution by shooting, lethal injection of phenol, or murdered in the gas chamber. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Check out playlists of my top 10 videos and I'll see you in the next video. If you've already subscribed to this channel, leave your thoughts down below and I'll personally respond to your comments.